today on Totally Entertainment, we have Angelina Jolie with us for an exclusive interview. So, Angelina, how are you today? Oh, I'm fine. My family and I had a nice weekend up in our house in California. We just enjoyed really good family time. The kids played. I mean, you should have seen little Maddox on his little bicycle riding around the lawn. And all the kids just loved playing and just being with Mommy and Daddy. Aww. Watching. Yeah. And Brad has been so busy with, you know, building houses for the poor, unfortunate people in New Orleans due to Hurricane Katrina. So he's been really busy with that and dedicated to that, and of course with my charities and stuff. So it was really nice for just us time at home, just me, Brad, and all the kids. That's good. So how is your family? They're all doing good. Maddox loves school. Um, they all, you know, love to play. They love to be with me and Brad we're at home. Uh, the two newest additions to our family, Knox and Vivian, are just a wonderful blessing to me and Brad. And they just, you know, do typical infant stuff, you know, they love to be held, they love to eat, of course, and they just love to be with mommy and daddy. Well, on the radio and online, I heard that Maddox, Sahara, and Shiloh made the top three influ most influential babies of a celebrity. How do you feel about that? which is one of the poorest countries that I have ever been to. And I went there filming Lara Croft, Tomb Raider, and I saw firsthand what those people in Cambodia go through. So, you know, Maddox comes from that unfortunate background. And, of course, Sahara comes from Ethiopia, another poor, poor country. And Africa is known for a large AIDS, you know, epidemic. So they both came from really bad backgrounds, which, you know, if I had intervened, you know, they probably, who knows if they'd even be alive today. So I just feel like I have helped these two children have a better life. How are you and Brad? Are you still, like, oh, in love? We're so in love. You know, we have such a happy, you know, we're just so happy together. Um, we, you know, we love our kids. We love working together. Um, I have to admit, I wish we could do another movie together because we had so much fun doing Mr. and Mrs. Smith. And I am so proud of him with his latest film, The Curious Case of Benjamin Button. I mean, his nomination and that movie's tons of nominations for, you know, Golden Globes and how it's already getting word for the Academy Awards. I'm just so proud of him. He's done so well. Well, how do you feel about your Golden Globe nomination for Changeling? I am very, you know, very, it was kind of unexpected. Of course, every award I get is kind of unexpected because I just feel like, you know, I don't really deserve it. Oh, don't be so other, modest. There's other actresses out there. So <laughs> it's just a very good way to, you know, express my feelings and ideas when I do get nominated to spread the word of how to help others through me, you know. Yeah. People see me with certain things, and I want them to know that we can all help our others. So this Golden Globe nomination is a way for me to do that, and I am very honored to be nominated for the Change Line. Oh, that's good. Um... What made, you, what made you adopt Maddox while in Cambodia while filming Lara Croft? Um, actually, before I filmed Lara Croft, I was a really wild bitch, I'll be honest. You know, I was, I was married to Billy Bob Thornton, who I really cannot believe I was married to. Don't ask me why. And, you know, I was just so wild. I just partied all the time and did everything I could possibly do to shock people. And while I was in Cambodia, I realized the less unfortunate people out there and I realized that, and I wanted to help because Cambodia just really hit me hard. So while I was there, you know, I saw little Maddox in an orphanage, and I, I just got attached to him immediately. I just, you know, he just like almost reached out to me. And after that, I wanted to help other people. That's why me and Brad have adopted other children. That's good. What was it like doing the film with your father, John Voigt? with him because um, my father and my mother divorced and as you know John Boyd is a famous actor and he um, it really got me connected with my father again because I did not have a very good relationship with him especially after the affairs on my mother which really hit hard yeah and that's why I think I went through that wild period in my youth because I was just so angry for my father and doing Lara Croft Tomb Raider with him really got me to get rid of that anger mm-hmm well how about your UN ambassador work? 
Do you enjoy it? Oh, I love doing that kind of work. It was such an honor when the UN asked me that. It was so great and so wonderful to hear about. And I love doing that work. I mean, I have been to the Middle East. I have been all kinds of places to be work. And it's all for a good cause. It's all about world peace. It's all about getting rid of poverty. It's all about finding cures for diseases such as AIDS and stuff. And that is like my main goal is just for people to not suffer. Because when looking from an American perspective, we think things are really bad here. But when you go to those countries, you realize how much we have and how blessed we are here in America compared to those poor, unfortunate people. Wow. As a child, what did you want to be originally? <laughs> Actually, I am. Um, it's kind of a weird career, but I wanted to be an undertaker as a child. That's weird. Yeah, I wanted to involve and stuff like that, and it's a very odd profession to do. But I just wanted to for some reason. I just, I guess I was a very deranged child. I don't know. <laughs> Is it true you didn't like being hugged as a child? Um, Ashley, I still kind of do not. It's As a child, I didn't like being hugged even by my own mother. I would just oh. get an uncomfortable feeling. And actually, even talking about it, I just get really weird feeling. I just don't like people touching me, really. Except oh, okay. My and of course, Brad. Oh, yeah, of course, Brad. Well, thank you for being with us today, and I hope you enjoyed your interview, because we certainly did. Well, I enjoyed talking with you. You are you know, a very good journalist on your way. So. Well, that's good. Thank you for that. I and I hope you have a good day, and I hope your family stays well. Yep, and uh, I hope you all watch the Golden Globes. Okay, this is Lorna McIntyre signing off for Totally Entertainment for our exclusive interview with Angelina Jolie.